Hi, it's me, Susan, with today's episode of The Cancer Club. Today is day four of my treatment, and uh, I've finally started having some side effects that are kind of yucky. Not really too bad, but uh, I feel like I'm coming down with the flu, which uh, I understand is pretty common. These are side effects of the chemo, I am told that it's too really early for me to be having side effects from the radiation. I get to look forward to that over the next few weeks. Uh, but uh, really, I was, I'm was i at work this morning. I, uh, I came home for lunch, thought I would do my post now instead of later in case I didn't feel that good. I called in a request for some anti-nausea medication from my oncologist, but I haven't really needed that yet. I just felt a little queasy. So all in all, I'm still, I'm still good to go and uh, happy about that. I had a couple of things I wanted to share with you all, some thoughts that I had uh, since uh, yesterday. One was when I woke up this morning and kind of looked at myself, it was like, ew, you are getting really old. My skin looked different. I don't know if I'm getting paranoid now or if I'm just seeing things that were always there, but... I hadn't really had to think about them because I wasn't forced to deal with my body in such a such a concrete way as I am now. But whatever the reason, it really it really prompted me to uh, think about my vanity and um, uh, that it's being challenged in a way that I'm going to make it a good way because I think if you're too vain which um, I often am, I think, too focused on appearance and uh, how you look to other people, that you stop living, you spend more time kind of worrying or prepping for your life or watching yourself to make sure that you look good or look good enough or whatever version it is, don't look bad, whatever way it comes out, and you're missing the actual moments of your life. So I used that moment of truth this morning to really struggle with, um, I am as old as I am. Uh, if I'm lucky, I'm going to get some more years to spend. I'm doing everything I can to be healthy in order to do that. And I'm not going to let concerns about judgments from other people, or even from myself, especially from myself, stop me from taking advantage of life and all it's got to offer. That's been one of the really most positive things to come out of this uh, cancer experience for me. Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about, I, I started to be concerned or at least give thought to that I hope I haven't offended anyone who might be struggling with cancer in more advanced stages and feels that I am uh, making light of it or that I don't know, I don't really know what it's like since I'm um, I have stage one cancer rather than a more advanced stage. And of course, I don't mean any offense to anyone. I am extremely grateful to be where I'm at right now. And uh, if, if there is any feeling that I'm being too flippant or, or somehow presenting this experience in a way that minimizes anybody else's experience, I would really like to hear about it. Please leave me a comment. Um, on the, on the uh, video page on the YouTube, because it is important to me. I, 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 uh, I want to put my own feelings and thoughts across, but I also want to know what other people are feeling as well. Okay, two more little tips before I stop. I don't know if they're tips. Uh, one is a tip for coping, something I discovered accidentally. Uh, the, the people at the radiation place said to me, uh, as far as caring for my skin, as it starts to become a little burned, they said maybe like a sunburn or maybe like a severe sunburn. At one point, they said to use a very mild soap like Dove. Well, Dove is the soap I use anyway, although I usually use pink Dove because it happens to go with my the tile in my bathroom, which is a very outdated bathroom, but nevertheless, pink tile. So I went to look for some more Dove, and lo and behold, in the store is a new flavor of Dove soap called Winter Care. And so I bought it. It said limited time only, so I don't know, maybe just for the winter. It is incredible. You will love it. It has a wonderful smell. It's white. It's uh, magnificent. It makes you feel like you're in a spa. It's just really special. So 
if you uh, have a chance and um, are in the grocery store, look for Winter Care by Dove. Now, one more thing I want to share. Everybody has their own little sayings and things that they like, things that they've come across. You know, sometimes they're written on little plaques that you see on people's walls. Well, there's one, one in the uh, changing room at the Radiation Treatment Center that I've noticed ever since I started going there on Monday, and I decided I really want to share it. I might even want to try to make it my sign-off deal because um, it's so special. Uh, it says, Live well, laugh often, and love much. And that sort of makes me teary just thinking about that. Love much. I love all of you all. Um, I love life. And I will see you tomorrow on the Cancer Club. Bye now.